long story short, over the past year, just all kinds of experiences came to me, and I had to, I had to really push myself to keep saying yes to this kind of stuff. But it felt, it always was like a breakthrough for me when I kept saying yes. And other people would, sit, would even say to me, like, Steve, I can't believe you just said that. I can't believe you did that. You know, I, I can't believe you had the courage to do that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to do that. And I, 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 but I realized that courage is essential. Otherwise, I'm always going to be blocking myself from creating that vibration. Long story short, you know, over the past, say, 10 or so months, I gradually shifted more and more to that vibration. And now I feel like I'm really there in my life. And it had massive consequences for my life. You know, it led to um, my wife and I separating a couple weeks ago. And us, you know, now we're in the process of getting a divorce. And even though I'm going through a divorce, I'm feeling good about it. You know, I'm, it's not, I'm not giving my power to it. It's not disempowering me. I don't feel bad about it. Because I know the new vibration I'm shifting into is the right one for me. And it's, it, this new reality I want to experience is one of even greater abundance than before. And, you know, the truth is that in my relationship with, with my wife, as some friends have pointed out, we became so intimate with each other, but there was no intensity to it. It's like we became so close, we were, we were more like brother and sister with each other. And it was just the, the, uh, an experience that was different than what I was really feeling called to. It's like my heart was calling me in a different direction. And so, as we, you know, as we, we talked about it, we agreed that, you know, this was, that, uh, that having the structure of a marriage around our relationship was not working for us. And we decided to let that go so that we can maintain a relationship that was deep and intimate and friendship, you know, being a big part of that. But it wasn't something that we were using to block ourselves from experiencing other things. And the truth is that because I was becoming a vibrational match for something new, my wife was as well. And she's shifting in, in a new direction herself. So it's interesting that we were, you know, by, by clinging to each other too much, too tightly, we were just blocking ourselves from both manifesting what we really wanted. And now that that, ener that trapped energy is freed up and we've let go in that area a little bit, we're both like heading off in different directions. And she's manifesting different things for herself. I'm manifesting new things for myself. But yet, we're still really good, really close friends and we still have this sense of intimacy in our lives. Now for somebody else looking in with a totally different mindset, they see our situation as something that's all screwed up or that's rid riddled with pain or, or negative feelings, like we should be fighting or something, and it's exactly the opposite of that. You know, we are really genuinely still great friends. It's just that we've both shifted our vibration in a different way that we want to experience a different kind of abundance in our life. You know, it's not necessarily we're experiencing the exact same thing. It's just that by clinging to each other too tightly, by clinging to the familiar, familiar by holding ourselves to our comfort zone, we were blocking ourselves from manifesting what we wanted. And we both had to express and exhibit a lot of courage to let go of the old and to embrace the new. Okay, this is a, this is a huge part of manifesting. If you want to manifest what you want in any, any area of your life, courage is essential. Okay, you will not get there if, you, if you're blocking yourself from doing any, anything courageous. Okay, you will have to start embracing that stuff that is coming to you from outside your comfort zone. You will have to start saying yes to it. Now, my experience is that if you, if you really are getting that new vibration and that stuff starts showing up and you say yes to it, I mean, I, I'm hard-pressed to think of a time where it did not work out. I mean, it just seems like it always works out. I, I don't like using the word always, but I, I really can't think of a time where I was really holding that new vibration and something showed up and I said yes to it and it did not work out. I'll tell you what happens, though, is when, when stuff that's a match for my old vibration shows up, and I say yes to it. That's where I start having stuff not work out. That's where I go, oh man, why did I do that business deal? You know, I shouldn't have done that. That wasn't a great deal. It's because I got sucked back in my old pattern. Okay, but when I'm really a match for the new vibration and I, I exercise courage to take advantage of the new opportunities that are showing up, whatever, whatever, whatever form they're coming to me, and I can see like, oh, this is a match for new vibration. It's gonna stretch me beyond my comfort zone. It's in line with what I'm wanting to experience. And I have to step into that state even more to accept it, to embrace it, and to receive it. That's, you know, that's the stuff that just seems to always work out. That's where like the money just keeps flowing, and the relationships become very deep, very intimate, very quickly, and you feel happy. See, it's not that it's not that the reality around you is going to make you feel a certain way, but it will reinforce your vibration. Okay? It'll be a match for it. There'll be this kind of congruent play back and forth between the vibration you're putting out and what your reality is sending back to you. Okay, and I, I love the state of my life right now because I really feel like I'm locked into this intimacy abundance state. And now I just have like, like people just connecting with me and you know, we're able to create an intimacy experience fairly quickly. You know, even just online. 
like, wow, I can't believe somebody just like sent me this email out of the blue and this is what they're telling me right off the bat. You know, and, and I write back and like, you know, maybe we do a phone call later and now it's like, we already, I already feel like this person is like really good friends with me and I can just talk to her or him about anything. Very, very um, strange how different that is from the old vibration where I would block all those kinds of connections. So you have your two steps here. Okay, one, you can use some kind of visualization process or really any process that you find that works for you to start shifting your dominant vibe that you're putting out to one of abundance or to one of what you want to experience where you're really feeling it as if it's already there. Okay, you're feeling it so real it's, it feels like it should be showing up in your reality any time now. Okay, that's the first part. Second part is that when things start to manifest and you start to feel like out of sync with old parts of your reality and beginning to fall into sync with new parts, new things that are showing up from outside your comfort zone, you have to exhibit courage. You have to say yes to it. Okay, you have to, you have to summon the courage to say yes. If you go all cowardly on it, and you're going you're to shift back to your old vibration. Okay? Courage is essential. You must do that. Now, existing and living in that state of abundance, I'll tell you, it's a wonderful place to be. Okay? You will love it. You will absolutely love it. You will not regret it. Now, it, yes, you will have to go through this courage process again and again to get there, to really allow those manifestations to happen, to experience what you want to experience. Wish I could offer you an easier way, but that is essential. And that will allow you to step into that place even more. Because the truth is that when you are in a state of abundance, you know that there's nothing to fear. Okay? You know that fear is an illusion and you see through the fear. If you are feeding your fear, you're giving your power away again. And that's part of the scarcity, the scarcity vibration. Okay? The abundance vibration is fearless. Okay? Because there's nothing to fear. Because you know anything you want to experience in life, you can create it. If you have an experience you don't want to have, you can, you can create something different. You can replace it. So that knowing and holding that power in yourself, knowing that all that power to create is within you, that you are the creator of your experience, that is part of the abundance mindset. And that is a, a mindset, or I should say a heart set, or a vibration of fearlessness. Okay? That you really want to reach the point where you are relating to your reality, no longer on the basis of fear, but just on the basis of like, I am the creator of this place. I'm the creator of my experience. And therefore, you could not possibly have anything to fear because it's all your creation. And you're just here, you're here to experience and to enjoy it and to continue to allow your creative energies to flow. Until next time, live consciously.